What's up, y'all? In this video, I'll be discussing signs of pre-molt and scorpions and how you can deal with the molting process. Um, I have quite a few species in front of me, so I'll, I'll be going through them and showing you how they look at different stages. The most obvious sign that your scorpion is in pre-molt will be that it's fat. Here I got a death stalker who is in pre-molt. So this one has been refusing food. And you can see that um, the size of bulging right here. So this is called the pleural membrane. And when a scorpion is, a, is in pre-molt or even when you grab it or well fed, this part will bulge out. And um, so if you notice that scorpion is like this for a long time and then you go to feed it and it doesn't eat it's more than likely a pre-molt sometimes with larger species the this membrane will be clear it'll look clear look like it's about to come off it'll be easy to tell that uh, your scorpion is going to molt soon a gravid scorpion and one that's in pre-molt they might look the same i'm pretty sure this one is also in pre-molt This is a fat tailed scorpion. You can see that it's fat in the, the membrane. It's here. This this scorpion is not eaten. It refused food the last time I fed it. So um, what you can do, if your scorpion isn't eaten, it's not really a big deal, especially if it looks like this. It's really not a big deal. They can go forever without eating. Um, as long as you keep them hydrated, they should be fine. And in the case of scorpions like this, the fat tail scorpion, they grow slow. So sometimes they'll look like this and you'll think they're in pre-molt. And then like three weeks to a month later, they'll just start eating again. Here's one that's hard to tell. This is a Tataya smith eye. This one is probably not in pre-molt. Uh, I just fed it about two or three days ago. When you think your scorpion is gonna molt, just keep your water dish full. If you have one, keep the humidity up. In the case of this one, If I thought this was in pre-molt, if it wasn't eaten, I would just um, raise the humidity. If it doesn't molt, I'll try feeding it again. If it still doesn't eat, I do the same thing. If um, the enclosure is dried out, I'll just add more water, wait another week or so and try again. But if your scorpion isn't eaten, there's really no need to make a big deal out of it as long as you know that you've been feeding it. So when they molt, they'll usually, let's see if I can show you. So when they molt, they'll usually curl their tails up and they'll stay in that position for for some time. Um, I have had scorpions be stuck in molt, so that can happen. Whether or not you have the right environment, um, sometimes that don't matter. Uh, sometimes they just, things happen and I guess they just have a bad molt and it's kind of out of your control. If they are taking too long to molt, you could try raising the humidity, but um, 
yeah, I, I'm not sure there's anything that you could do to actually save it at the point that when it's stuck in a, a moat. From my experience, uh, if you let it stay too long, it'll usually just rot. The parts that's stuck in will just rot. That's pretty, that's not common. I've raised up hundreds and it's only happened a handful of times where they got stuck in, in molt and it was out of my control. But with species that aren't from the desert, you think they're in pre molt raise the humidity. For the desert species, um, just keeping the water dish full should be enough. And just uh, don't disturb them. Try not to bump the tank or drop it or anything like that that could cause problems too. And here's a Florida bark scorpion. This one is not in pre -mold. You can still see membrane, but it's not really bulging. Um, in the case of this species, it would look more like this little bark scorpion. It's very likely that this one is in pre -molt. It might eat one more time, but this one will molt soon. This is a Central American bark scorpion. This one looks like it could be in pre molt but it already produced offspring. So it's really unlikely that it'll molt again. You can see her sides are bulging. And in here is a black dust stalker. And this one did feed the last time. It was a couple of days ago. And this is not in pre mold. It still can eat again. But like I said, it's it it's iffy with some species. Some grow faster than others. Um, but you just look out for the signs, and you'll pretty much have to put two and two together. If it looks like this, and it hasn't been eaten and it's lethargic or it's hiding all the time, then it's probably in pre -molt. And if it's a species that needs humidity, raise your humidity. If it's a desert species, you can just keep the water dish full. Um, wait a week or so, try to feed it again. It doesn't um, molt already. If it continues to refuse food, just keep repeating the process. Once they molt, you want to give them about two weeks, two to three weeks. That's average um, for their exoskeleton to harden. For baby scorpions, it might take um, less time. They might be able to eat a week after molting. But it's usually about two or three weeks and then they'll get back to eating. So those are just a few things you can look for to help determine if your scorpion is in primo or not. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.